I don't know what to think. It seems like it's pretty thick, but there's no way I tell with all the snow. Ice seems pretty clear, I think that's a good thing. Cause the last time I was here it was like two inches deep. And it's been really cold lately, like negatives. So I'm thinking that's probably like closer to four. Which I think is what you need to have to ice fish on it. That's what I've read on the internet anyways. So I don't know, we might come back here and try it out. I'm not real sure. I really want to get out and fish, it's been a while. I'm so freaked out because I've just never been on ice like this before. Like, never. I've never ice skated on ice like this, fished, walked, anything. So, I'm holding my arms out so if I fall through, I save myself, hopefully. Seems pretty freaking, pretty stinking thick here. Yeah. I'd like to bust it open, but I can find a rock or something. I should have brought a hatchet, but I didn't think about it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll go back and grab a hatchet and come back and see. I don't know. I really just want to see how thick it is. It feels really, really sturdy. Like there is no give, but there's no way I know. All right, guys, this ice is honestly thicker than I thought it would be. It's probably like right now what I'm seeing is five inches and I'm not even seeing water yet. So it's definitely an exercise. Plus I just walked the whole way here back. And it was freezing cold. Okay. Ouch, that hurt. Oh, we got water, boys. We're in. That's awesome. Well, I'm gonna tell you what, we definitely aren't going through today. Because this, this is thick. Now I'm probably gonna have to stick my hand down here and scoop this out, because I didn't, like this is my first time ice fishing, so I'm gonna have crap to learn. I'm just gonna take off my glove and get this out of here so you can see. We got a probably one inch hole poked through there. It's all filled up with water now, which makes it a little bit harder, but I think we'll be good. I think we can get it. I said never done this before so there's a lot of things I'm unsure of yet 
But I guess we're just gonna have to figure it out. Just a jig, I guess. A little bit here. I can see how this could be really fun if you had a really good day and caught some fish. Now I'm just using like a yellow like lead jig head with a like a grub tail on the back. Because I've seen people catching fish on them, like catching bass and panfish on them. So that's what we're going to try. That's pretty much what's in here. Bass, bluegill. It's pretty much the average. I haven't seen any real big ones in here, but I'm not after a big one today. <laughs> a fish would just be awesome just to catch one. Might have to put the GoPro under the water here in a little bit and see what it looks like. Just see if it's clear down there. Might even do a second hole over towards the middle more. We're kind of right on the edge here, but like I said, it drops off fast. Actually, not super cold now. I'm getting pretty warm. I don't know exactly the temperature today. It's probably like 20 or 25. So not too bad. I don't know. I can't tell if I'm hitting the bottom or not. I have to scoop this back out. Yeah, it's like really cleared up since I haven't been scraping it out. I can't see the bottom or anything, but I've heard that like if you're in like a dark ice, like an ice shack, like out on a lake, once it's dark, you can see into the water. Maybe I'll get down there and hold my hands over the hole and. See if I can see in there. That'd be kind of cool if I can see the bottom. Take a little pee here. I'm trying to get my gloves like completely. So, get up there. No, I can't see crap. <laughs> I just wetted the tip of my hair in the water. Now I'm one with the fish. Now I'm really going to catch them. Oh, yeah, I definitely did. That's cold. <laughs> I think I might try to open this hole up now that I can see it. Here, I'll just show you guys. Oh, like right there. There's some ice sticking out on the hole, so I'm gonna try to get that out, but. Overall, pretty nice little setup here for my first time. All right, so. Now I'm just cleaning out the ice again, trying to make the hole a little bit bigger. I might, I might move out to the middle, dig another hole and see. I know it's definitely gonna be a lot deeper out there. I don't know how deep it'll be out there. I would say honestly probably even 10 foot, like this pond is deep. I'm 
I'll just leave my rod in the water and just let it sit suspended. Maybe something will come up and just see it and slurp it up. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Here's digging on the That's slippery. Okay, boys, I don't know if you guys can hear that. First time on the ice. I know that it cracks and make noise, makes noises, but that was a little sus. I was like, what noise does that sound? I don't know if it was ice pieces hitting the ice, but no, it was the ice cracking the whole way up. So I don't know, a little scary. I know the ice is thick enough for sure. I mean, it's like, let me just stick this in here. I would honestly say it's five plus inches. It's just scary. I don't know how to explain it. It's my first time on the ice, so I don't know exactly what to expect. <laughs> I'm gonna head back out to you. through. Whoa. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's little send. Probably be back out here. Yeah, we'll be back out Wednesday and try to catch a big old bass. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like, subscribe, comment, share my channel out if you like it, and see you next time. Okay, that was a fail. We didn't catch anything. We dug two holes, fished for 30 minutes. Like 30 minutes. I honestly thought Shane got a bite when we first started, a couple minutes in. But we only have really one ice fishing rod and then I just have like a short ultralight ugly stick I'm using. But this is only my second time ice fishing. Shane's first. So yeah, it's, not, it's probably not gonna be 
a hundred percent for a while till we get used to the techniques. And we don't have like an ice house or sonar or anything like that either. But we're out here trying our best. Okie dokie, spot number two at the backwaters here. We had caught absolutely nothing. We used some shiners. We tried spinner bait and like a chatter bait just to see if muskie would bite, but we didn't get anything. So we were gonna stay longer, but it is literally so freezing. Shane decided to wear cowboy boots with no insulation, so he's froze. <laughs> note and to self. Note to self, yes. Um, so we tried a couple casts with the shiners, threw a couple on the bank when they flew off the hook. <laughs> um, so we're probably gonna head out. It is freezing eat, eat, eat out here. Yeah, I threw them at squirrels. squirrels. <laughs> 